Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial so today I'm going to show you how you can archive your files using this well-known archive utility that you can find in almost any Unix platform which called TAR so already let's get started so here I'm on my desktop folder as you can see I have folder named folder 1 which contains a bunch of files as you can see here I have video, I have some text files, PDF file, okay so let's say that we want to, to archive these files so it's very easy if you want to archive this directory all you have to do is to type tar minus cvf and the name of your file or directory actually so here I'm on my current directory and the name is folder 1 okay so the C stands for create new archive V for the variables mode and the F for the file so I will add here the file that I want to to be the name of okay so I will for example name my file archive1 one. archive1 one. Dot tar for example and you press enter as you can see here in my desktop a new archive file has been created so if you see the size of my folder here it's almost 7.6 megabytes okay and the archive also it's the same size so I did not compress actually my folder if you want to compress it using the gzip format you can do that so all you have to do is to add the option Z to your file here so now instead of having just the point tar file you will have a point gzip by the way tar.gzip is equal or similar to the GGZ. okay and then you press enter now I have an archive but it's compressed if I let me see the size now as you can see it now it's compressed it's 7.1 megabytes okay so now let's say that I want to see the content of my tar file so it's very easy if you want to see the content of your tar file or archive file all you have to do is to add actually the T option so the T for the list content V for verbos and F the name of your file so I don't need here the folder I want just to see the list of the file that my archive contains as you can see now I see all the content of my archive file okay so if you want to uncompress or unarchive this file let's first unarchive it so I will delete my folder here move to, to trash actually okay now let's see that I want to unarchive this file so it's very easy also but this time instead of the T option we have to add X okay and I give the name of my tar file and by default it will extract it to the current directory which is my desktop as you can see now in my uh, desktop the folder has been unarchived with the same uh, content okay so let's say I will delete it once again in order to to make a test as you can see here I have a bunch of files in my folder one so let's say that I want just to extract one file one specific file for example I want just to extract this oracle.sql file here so it's very easy all I have to do is to type minus xvf to extract the archive and I have to provide the name of my file so as you can see here I provided 
folder 1 oracle.sql and I hit enter as you can see now the folder has been created and inside it we find just the file that we want to extract that's the only file because we have specified it in here at the end of our, our command and finally if you want to extract your whole folder to another directory you can also do that but you have to provide the minus C option and here you can specify the directory for example I want to extract it to home I mean uh, home I mean uh, download for example okay so if I verify that I go to my download directory which is here and yes the folder has been created as you can see here with all the name so that was just an introduction to this useful and very important uh, archive utility called tar as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye